I'm going to show you how to do it with this, which you can bring into an exam. Okay? Now, um, this is the second way, which is with a calculator. Now, if you stare really hard at the buttons on your calculator and the small characters that are labeling above and below, I wonder if you can see something that might be useful to you that will do something similar to this. Now, depending on your calculator, if you look at the um, decimal point, my decimal point looks like this. Oh, it's the random letter hash. Okay, how many of you, hands up, have exactly that? Like, no idea yet, hands up. Okay, thank you, hands down. How many of you have it so it looks like that? It just has the left hand one. Yeah, okay, sure, all right. So, what I'm going to do for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to pretend you have this calculator. If you have a slightly different one, I can show you what to do with that instead. But what we want is this one on the right hand side. The difference between these is this will give you a random number between 0 and 1. This will give you a random whole number, an integer, between, just like this, any two numbers you choose. Okay. So I'm going to go with this one on the right hand side, and if you have something slightly different, I'll show you how to work with that. So on mine, um, these two, this is in yellow, and this is in like pink, fuchsia, whatever it is. Okay. So I have to press alpha to get to this on my display. Okay. So if I press alpha, decimal point, Okay. now on my screen it says this. Okay, and then the bracket opens up. Now, this works in exactly the same way that the spreadsheet does, right? It just doesn't tell you. So you need to put in a pair of numbers between whatever and whatever, like say, 1 and 24. Go ahead and do that. You might say, where's the comma? I've never yeah. used the yeah, comma on mine. My comma is above my right bracket. So if you've got the, um, the right brackets, I've got a comma and an X above that. So press Shift comma and then 24 don't forget to close the bracket otherwise it'll have a fit at you let me have a look nice I want to do one in nine. So there's about five percent chance you get the same number. Okay, wonderful. So you can see the more times you press equals, the more numbers you'll get, and it keeps on handing you random numbers. So that's all fine. Okay. I guess you would take the first, the first four. Okay. Uh, or first five. I said that's what I wanted. So you can use a spreadsheet. You can use a calculator. There's one last way that I want to show you and it has to do with this piece of paper. Okay, so spreadsheet, calculator, option three, grid of numbers. So if, for instance, you find yourself out in the desert and you have no technology that you have access to, right? If you have something as simple as a grid of numbers, you can use one of these to get out your random sample number. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. I need to turn this back on. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Right. Are our numbers the same? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. More or less. All right. So, uh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that'll do. Um, what I'm going to show you is, and can I sort of emphasize, right? These are supposed to be random numbers, okay? So in a way, it doesn't matter how you generate these, so long as they are really random. And so that's why I'm showing you all these different ways. Now this last one, I kind of think is the weirdest of the lot, but it's one that's in your text, so I don't want you to look at that and think, what on earth am I supposed to do with that? I want you to know, okay? So it's not complicated. All you need to do is two things. Number one, pick a starting point. Any starting point. Now, just for the sake of consistency, so you can come back to your notes later and be like, oh, okay, that's what it means. Let's all pick the same starting point. I'm going to go to the third column of numbers, the third column of numbers, this one. I'm going to go down to the fifth row, and that first number there, it's a nine, okay? So I'm going to just treat that as my start number. And then all I need to do from there to get my random series of numbers is I want numbers from 1 to 24, right? So I need to pick a pair of digits every time, a pair of digits every time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk down the page like this, okay? 
Now you can see, and I'm going to put some arrows, maybe you want to do this on your piece of paper too. As you walk down the page, you're getting a series of random numbers out of this walk, right? Now I want two digit numbers, unfortunately because of the spot that I picked. Actually, maybe I'll just go up one. This is really cheap. There we go. Okay. Um, it actually doesn't matter where I start. I still end up with a problem. I want you to see what two digit numbers I get out of this. Okay. So if we started like the, at the nine, like I originally said, um, my first number is 95. See that? There's, there's the first two. And then I've got 82, 83. Uh, when I get to this six down the bottom, I guess I'd need to go up to the next, the next, um, column, so it'd be 67, then 50, and so on, okay? So you can see, I'm going to get How's 67? 67, I went up to the next uh, column, isn't that Did you see that? 67, oh, up there. yeah, I'm just, as in, I'm going through all of the columns left to right, if that makes sense, okay? Now you can see, for this particular example, uh, these numbers, not that useful to me, unfortunately, because if I want numbers from 1 to 24, there's only, well, there's only about a 24% chance that I'm going to get a number that small, okay? You can see all these numbers are quite large. They're all over 24, so I can't use any of these. But if I, was, if I had a group of 100 people, then I'd pick the 95th person, and the 82nd, and the 83rd, and the 67th. I will still get a random sample of some kind. Does that make sense? Now, there's no reason why I had to walk down. Let's start somewhere else. For instance, let's go over here. Let's go to this one, which starts with... Um, which ends with a seven. See that one over there on the right-hand column? Uh, what I can do here, if I want two digit numbers, right? I can say, all right, I'm going to go uh, to the left. Why don't I go to the left, okay? So the first number I'm going to get will be 74. And then I'll go to the left. The next one, just so it's a bit easier for you to read, I'll use a different color. The next one will be 62. Can you see that? The next one will be 73. The next one will be 66. And as I move towards the left, I keep on getting a new set of numbers here. Numbers, right? didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to write them down just so you see how I did this. 74, 62, 73, 66, dot, dot, dot. So you can see there's more ways than you can shake a stick at to get random numbers out of this. I didn't have to do it um, going from right to left. I could have made that 47, 26, 37. The important thing is I describe how I'm getting these numbers and they're not just coming out of my head, okay? They're coming out of something random. And that's what will give me a random sample. Does that make sense? 